three. I hope you had a really nice weekend. Um, welcome to lesson number one of your talk writing lessons in week three. Um, you will need a pencil before you start. Enjoy. In this lesson, we're going to start thinking about your hot task. So looking at this screen, who do you think I'm going to ask you to write your hot task biography about? That's right. You are all going to be writing your biography hot task on the very famous Martin Luther King Jr. In order to complete this lesson, you need to have your mind maps with you that you completed last week. This was where we thought about what information is included in the biography and we made a mind map for the early life section, the second section of a biography and the end of life and legacy section of a biography. You need to go and get these mind maps and they also need to be clear of any notes you took when you interviewed the person you lived with in your house. So you might have to rewrite the mind map on early life. Pause this video until you've got all of your mind maps ready. Use this image to copy my early life mind map if you need to rewrite it and copy all of my mind maps if you can't find the ones that you made last week. In this lesson, you're going to watch a video which tells you lots of facts about Martin Luther King. You're going to use that video to take notes for your biography. When the video tells you a piece of information that you're looking for, you'll write it down on your mind map. Write the information in note form. See here in my example, when I found out when Martin Luther King was born, I didn't write a full sentence. I just wrote the date because that's quicker. And when I come to my plan, I'll write that up in a full sentence. So first of all, we're going to focus on the early life section of Martin Luther King's biography. If you look at your mind map here, it shows you everything, all the information that you'll be looking for. Have your mind map in front of you as you watch the video so you can remind yourself what information you're trying to listen out for. You want to know when and where Martin Luther King was born. You want to know who he lived with when he was a child. You want information that gives you an idea of what he was like so that you can come up with your own adjective to describe him. You want to find out something that you can make up a sentence on about his school and if there was any other major event, so anything else that you think was unusual that happened to Martin Luther King when he was young, then you can write that under any major events. There is quite a lot of information in this video. Don't write it all down because you won't be able to fit it all into your biography. Just write one point under school and one point under any major events. Martin Luther King was born at a similar time to Rosa Parks, so some of the information about what life was like is going to be the same as our text map. You can take notes on this if you want to, but there's no need to change those sentences. To find the information you need, you're going to watch a video. What you need to do is pause the video every time you hear some information that you want to put on your mind map. You might need to replay the video several times before you have your mind map fully completed. When you go to the video in just a minute, I'd first like you to watch it only filling in the early life section of your mind map, okay? Once you've filled in your early life mind map, come back to this video um, and carry on watching my lesson. So what you need to do now, you might need an adult to help you with. You need to create a new tab in your Google Chrome or Internet Explorer page. Then you need to go to this web address where you can find the video you need to watch. 
In order to go to the right web address, you can either type into your um, search bar the web page, which is underlined and in blue writing, or you can go to YouTube and type in Martin Luther King Biography Children. The correct video is the one that looks like um, the one I've put on this screen. So pause this video now, create a new tab where you can find your video which will tell you about Martin Luther King and fill in only the early life mind map. OK, fill in all of the information you need on the early life mind map. Then come back to this video and watch the remainder of the lesson. Hello, so well done. You should have filled in all the information you needed for your early life mind map. That means you have everything you need to be able to write an early life section of the biography on Martin Luther King. Now we're going to find information for the second section of our biography. When we looked at what information is included in the second section of our biography, we realised it's all about the event that made that person famous, or the event that they are most famous for. We know what Martin Luther King Jr. is most famous for is his I Have a Dream speech. Now the video gives you lots of information about other things that happened to Martin Luther King before that. All of those things would be included as build up. They build up to the main event, which is the I have a dream speech. You're not going to be able to include all of those things in your biography. So just pick one or two events that you want to put up, put in your build up section of your biography. And you write that on your mind map under the point that says build up. All the other things relate to the I have a dream speech. So you want to find out when the speech happened, how old Martin Luther King was when he gave the speech. If you have an, a description of the speech, such as how many people attended or where the speech was held, you'd write that under description. And did anything happen after the speech? So pause this video now, go to the other tab you have open where you've got your video about Martin Luther King and watch the video again looking for information that you can put on your mind map for the second section of the biography. Once you've done that, come back to this video and carry on watching. Well done, you're almost there. You should now have all the information that you need for the first and second section of your biography. Now we're going to find the information that you need for the very end section of your biography. When we looked at the information that's included in the end section of a biography, we realised that the end section of a biography tells you about how a person died, if any major events happened towards the end of their life, and talks about their legacy. The video you're about to watch tells you when Martin Luther King died, how old he was when he died, and it gives you information about how you died. You should put all of that on your mind map. Then think about Martin Luther King's legacy. How do people remember him? How has he changed the world? You might have some ideas here of your own, but there are also a few ideas in the video you're about to watch. So pause this video now, go to the other tab you have open, to re-watch the video on Martin Luther King and look for the information you need to complete your mind map on the end of life section for the biography. Well done! You should now have all three mind maps complete with information about Martin Luther King. In our next lesson, we'll be using these mind maps to create a box up plan for our biography, just like we do in school. So make sure you keep these mind maps safe uh, so that you're ready for our next lesson.